Hey guys, welcome back to the Blackwell Deception. In the last episode, we dug a little into Tiffany's life, and now we are here and we are about to face Ken, I Come guess. On in. But we don't know yet, so. We'll see. Hi, are you Ken Sharp? I sure am. What can I do for you, Miss? Blackwell. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Nah, the midnight oil can wait. What's up? I'm helping out the City Post with an article. I was hoping I could ask you some questions. The newspaper. Sure. Ask away. Okay, sharp sound. So, what can you tell me about this place? This place? We're an audio studio. You need any voiceover, music, or sound design? Then we're your guys. Mm-hmm. Let's check our notes, then. Did you ever talk to a reporter named Jeremy Sams? He from the City Post, too? Yeah, I'm covering for him. Sorry, I don't think I ever met the guy. Mm-hmm. Do you ever go up to the High Line? That just opened up, right? Haven't been able to get up there yet. Do you know anyone named Gavin? Hmm, can't say that I do, no. Mm -hmm. Do you ever deal with a temp agency called Sterling? Yeah, I use them to hire temps sometimes, when things get busy. Are you using them now? Not at the moment. Things are pretty slow. Mm -hmm. So, tell me about yourself. Not much to say. What you see is what you get. All right, time to get to the juice. I was hoping to talk to you about Tiffany. Tiffany? Walters, she used to work for you as a temp. Did she? I'm afraid we've gone through quite a few temps. Yeah, I'll bet he has. So, uh, I'm sorry. She might have worked for us, but I don't remember her. Hmm, really, Ken? Are you sure you don't remember a Tiffany Walters? I told you, I don't remember anyone named Tiffany Walters. Hmm, Tiffany and Sterling. I spoke to a guy from Sterling. He confirmed she worked here. For all I know, he might be right. But I don't remember her. Like I said, we go through a lot of temps here. Mm hmm. You filed a complaint with Sterling about Tiffany. You don't remember that? Have you ever worked with temps? Some are all right, but others? Well, there's a reason why they are temping. So sure, I've made my share of complaints, but can I remember any specific one? No. Mm hmm. Were you ever in a relationship with anyone named Tiffany? Miss Blackwell, was it? I have a wife and two kids, and none of them are named Tiffany. I'm just following a lead. I was told that Tiffany was involved with someone named Ken. Well, it wasn't me. Uh-huh. What about... Are you sure you don't remember a Tiffany Walters? I told you, I don't remember anyone named Tiffany Walters. Are you sure you... I told you. Okay. Well, thanks. See you around. That's weird though, right? Okay. Let's talk I have to a Joe. question, Joey. What's going on? An office in Midtown. Ken Sharp must do pretty well for himself. That means something, does it? For some people. An office in Mid- that For some- mm -hmm. Okay. So, any ideas? Ken Sharp's a pretty smooth talker. I bet he's hiding something. Hmm. So? Okay. That's all for now. All right. Yeah. And now we can enter. I'm going to go in and snoop around. You sit tight. Yeah, let's snoop around. Ah, these are the B shops from the second to last game, I think. Okay, I don't recognize this person, but it's okay. There's another door. Hmm. I couldn't even begin to guess what this stuff is for. Mm hmm. I couldn't. It's a set of drawers. Can't open them though, right? <sighs> I can barely make anything out in here. It's kind of. Black? I have no idea what it is. I can't see a thing. It looks like a letter. I can't make out what it says. <laughs> it's... It's... Yeah, the question is how do we get to see it? It looks like... Don't think that we can. Not sure what... It's a set of... Hmm... He looks pretty intent on... Well, whatever the hell he's actually doing. No, 
nothing important back there. Mm-hmm. Okay. I guess we will have to call that number somehow, and therefore we have to go in here, I guess. Mm -hmm. Nothing interesting in there. Okay, if that is the case... Just a stairwell. Yeah, okay, then let's read the note. I feel like we have to... Hey, get over here. Uh-huh, what's up? Pretty swanky hallway. They must entertain a lot. What makes you say that? You decorate a place this nice, you want it to be seen. Mm-hmm. If Ken's been cozying up to Tiffany... Like who? I don't know, a neighbor maybe? I gotta think of everything? Hmm, okay. If Ken's been cozying up to Tiffany... Like who? I don't know, a neighbor... Okay. If Ken's... Like Okay. All right. Sure. If we go back here, so it this says Gal Friday Publishing. Okay, so let's Google that. Gal Friday Publishing. Mm hmm. Contact. So that means we can now contact her. Can we switch? I'm gonna go in and. We can switch. So let's call Gal Friday. And have a look inside. Now we can read that paper. Looks like a love letter. Mm. And it's signed Tiffany. Sounds like our boy Ken knew Tiffany after all. Alright, so what does it say? Ken, last night was the most magical night of my life. I never knew I could feel this way. I'll be dreaming of you tonight. Kisses, Tiffany. Okay, let's hang up. Now we know. So let's go here. I got something to say. Mm-hmm. What is it, Joey? We've got Ken dead to rights. Why are you keeping clam about it? Don't rush me, I'll get to it. All right. All right, let's get back to it. Sure. Okay, so now we know. Come on in. That's an interesting picture up there. I don't recognize the band. Well, you wouldn't. That was my dad's group. They haven't been together since the 60s. Oh. What happened to them? They died. They died, I think. What? He never talked about it much. Okay, the sea shops, and that was Unbound, I think. Who's that man in the photograph? Him? Uh, that's my dad. He and I started this place um, about 20 years ago. He's retired now, but he pops his head in sometimes. Mm-hmm. So, tell me, Ken. Why do you have a letter from Tiffany in your desk? What? What is this? Are you sneaking in here while I'm not around? Is that it? Maybe I'm just psychic. Yeah? Well, maybe I'll just call the police. I just want to find out what happened to Tiffany. Look, whatever happened to her, it had nothing to do with me. Maybe you're right, but maybe you can tell me what happened so I can decide for myself? <sighs> you're a real piece of work. Fine. Go on. Ask what you want. Alright, so what happened? So, tell me about Tiffany. Look. You breathe a word of this, and I'll have the police on you so fast it'll make your head spin. Lips are sealed. All right. Yes, I knew Tiffany. You probably guessed that we were involved. I gathered that. I was working late. We were doing spots for a new TV commercial, and she volunteered to help out. I thought she just wanted the overtime, but turns out she wanted something else. Hmm, she came on to him? So she came on to you? Yeah, she wouldn't take no for an answer. Look, I'm a married guy with two kids. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't help myself. It was like a drug. Of course, the girl was completely crazy. I should have noticed that right off. Hmm. Why keep the Why letter? Why do you keep the letter if the relationship is over? I don't know. Nostalgia, maybe? It was nice at the beginning. She was crazy, but she saw something in me. 
I suppose I still want to hold on to that. Especially now that she's, you know, gone. Mm Mm-hmm. What about crazy? Crazy? How so? My God, the girl was obsessed. Showing up at the office at all hours, stalking me, calling my house at night. She kept saying we were destined to be together, that it was fate. Even when I tried to break it off, she wouldn't take no for an answer. God, what a nightmare. I should have broken it off long before I did. Hmm, so you ended it. So you did end things with her. God, yes. I had to. Even if I wasn't a married man, the woman was a complete head case. Talking about the stars and fate and destiny. She even started calling me Turtle Dove. What a nightmare. Turtle Dove? So I buckled down and ended it. And she didn't take it well. I had to get a restraining order put on her. I've learned my lesson, that's for sure. No more temps. And definitely no more affairs. My life is with my wife and family. Hmm, confirm it's over. So you're through with Tiffany completely? Yes. I'm sorry she's gone, but I'm glad she's out of my life. What a total embarrassment she was. So you're through with Tiffany completely? Yes. Like I told you, I'm sorry she's gone, but I'm glad she's out of my life. What a total embarrassment she was. Mm Mm-hmm, okay. Well, thanks. See you around. That's weird, though, that we couldn't get rid of that option. I have a question, Joey. Yeah? Ken almost seemed relieved that Tiffany was dead. Can you blame him? Sure I can. He doesn't have to deal with the consequences, but we do. Dealing is what we do best, sweetheart. Mm-hmm. Ken almost seemed relieved that Tiffany- Can you blame him? Sure I can. Dealing. Hmm. Ken's nice and all- Loves- Ken's nice and all, but I don't get what Tiffany saw in him. Love's a fickle thing. Couldn't even begin to understand it. Okay. That's all. Yeah. Can we do something I'm gonna go in and snoop around. There must be more than I guess. We had a look in here. But, hmm. We did have a look in there. No, we didn't because there wasn't anything interesting, Nothing right? Imp- okay, that's fine though. We do have more information. We could go to the cafe. And I think we're gonna do that first. And talk to the young lady. Maybe she knows something. Hi again. Hi! It's so tempting. I met Ken. Oh, you did? What was he like? He's married. Did you know that? Married? No, I didn't know that. Do you think... Did Tiffany know? I don't know yet. Hmm, okay, that is interesting. Thanks, have a good night. Yeah, you too. Okay, so let's go to Tiffany's place and tell her that he's married and see how she's going to react. She most likely knew already, though. So, therefore, hmm. Stay close to the door, Red. I'm heading in. After you, Joey. Alright, Joey. Time to talk to Tiffany once more. Hello again. What? Look, you're gonna have to face facts. Ken is through with you. You're lying. Deep down, he still loves me. He just can't admit it. He told me himself. I don't believe you. Hmm, okay, we need proof. Why do you think Sterling fired you? I don't know. It's run by nothing, never mind. Hmm, hmm. So, tell me. Nice. About this. I told So you. No. You can't. Why are you bothered? Just. Have mm-hmm. you. What? Okay. Are you familiar? What? Hmm, I guess. Turtle Dove. You called Ken your Turtle Dove, right? That's private. How did you know about that? He told me himself. All this mooning? He thinks it's pathetic. He... what? It's over, kid. You want my advice? Forget about him and get on with your... Well, you need to get over him is all I'm saying. I... no. I need to hear it from him. Just one more time. From him. Hmm... Hey, wait a sec! (laughs) 
Let me guess. That was Tiffany. Why didn't you stop her? Because I can't touch ghosts? Right. Forget it. Let's just get after her. Okay, so we're gonna go to shop, alright? Please don't ignore me, Ken. Hmm, okay, let's get in there then. Why won't you look at me? Can't you look me in the eye at least? Come on in. So you're through with Tiffany completely? Yes. Like I told you, I'm sorry she's gone, but I'm glad she's out of my life. What? What a total embarrassment she was. Embarrassment? Ken, you don't mean that. Do you mean that? Of course I do. With that squeaky, lovey-dovey voice and the way she'd throw herself at me in public? I thought you liked it! You'd think a guy would like that kind of attention, but she was so needy and desperate about it. Desperate? I was not desperate! It was fate! She said we were destined to be together, that it was fate. I don't believe what I'm hearing. We're supposed to be together. Gavin said so. I don't know why I didn't end it right then and there. But like an idiot, I just kept being reeled back in. I gave up everything for you. I gave up... I gave up my life for you. She thought I'd give up my entire life for her, but that was crazy. I only hope she found some happiness before she died. Died? Died? Am I dead to you? Is that it? I... I can't even look at you. I've got to get out of here. I need air. Whoa. Did you feel that? Feels like the AC kicked in. Anyway, take my advice. You meet a guy you like, don't smother him. He'll just run away. I'll keep that in mind. Well, I think that's everything. Thanks again, Ken. Sure. You know, feels kind of good to talk about it. And I, uh, well, I hope you'll be discreet about it. Don't worry. Yeah. That is very sad, actually. Let's talk to Tiffany. Tiffany? You think I'm pathetic, don't you? Oh, no. Not at all. I do. Why did I act like such a love-struck little girl? I don't know. We all act stupid sometimes. Not like this. I couldn't stop myself. Why? Just because Gavin said we should be together? Gavin? Is that the psychic who told you to stick with Ken? Yeah, and I believed every last word. Why would I believe something so stupid? Ken was all I thought about. When he told me it was over, I was just angry I couldn't be with him. Gavin told me not to worry, that it was destiny, that we'd be together. It took me over. I wouldn't get out of bed. I just stopped. I'm sorry. I need to get out of here. How do I get out of here? Actually, pretty Tiffany? easy. Please, how do I get out of here? I just need to get out of here. Okay, she won't talk to us anymore. So I guess it's just time to hey, do Tim, this. I got something for you. What is it? It's something to help you on your way. Just one minute. Look at him, working at his desk like nothing's happened. I'm ready. It feels good. The light, I mean. It feels good. Just head towards it. That's all you need to do. It feels like... it feels like Gavin. Isn't that strange? Believing his words, accepting the lie, it felt good. Wonderful. I want to hate him, but I can't. It's like it doesn't matter. We'll get to the bottom of this. I promise. Do you know where we can find him? No. He'd come over to my place. He'd talk and... It all seemed so clear. That's all I can remember. It's all fading. You better go. Thank you. I... I don't know what else to say. No need to thank us. It's what we do. Well, I guess this is it. She all taken care of? Yeah, I think she'll be alright. At least, I hope so. This makes no sense, Joey. Hey? Her death. It was so... Pointless. Who said there had to be a point? She didn't even like Ken. Not really. Haven't you ever been in love? That's not what I mean. You don't just die of a broken heart. Not literally. Maybe. 
Maybe not, but whoever this Gavin guy is, he put her up to it. I think we owe our friend Lisa another visit. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I guess we will just do that. All right, let's just talk to her. Yes. Hi, Lisa. I learned something about Tiffany Walters. And? She's dead. Lisa? Did Gavin kill her? Don't come back until you know for sure. Hmm. I've learned something about Gavin and Tiffany. You have? I don't want to say it out here on the street. Can I come in? Yes. And that's it. Gavin told her to throw herself at this man, and it destroyed her. Tiffany. You should have seen her when she walked in here. So lost, trying to find her place in life, drifting from job to job, never finding what she wanted. She was a woman who wouldn't let herself be happy. Was her aura blocked as well? Look, she needed to believe that her unhappiness was beyond her control. I gave that to her. You hear that? She's doing a public service. Judge me if you want, but she came to me. And then you sent her to Gavin. Gavin and I have an arrangement. Which is? If I have a client who's determined to be unhappy, no matter what, I send them to Gavin. And then they die? I don't know that, and neither do you. Just because this one died doesn't mean they all do. I gave you two names, look into the other one, and don't come back until you do. I'll be back. Hmm, okay, that sounds pretty strange, to be honest. Let's exit, and let's head over to Jamie, because that's the other one, right? Sneaking through the Columbia campus at night isn't how I envisioned coming back here. Keypad locks, those are new. Hmm, notes updated, Jamie Graham. All right, guys, but uh, I'm sorry, we haven't hit the end of the episode mark yet, but we are quite close, and I think that closing up Tiffany's story is just a nice episode in itself. And starting with Jamie right now wouldn't make too much sense. So therefore, I'm going to end this episode here a little bit short, to be honest. But I hope you don't mind. And if you want to know what is going on with Jamie, you'll have to tune in next time for The Blackwell Deception. See you then.